Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video demonstration on using Logic 9.1.7 with the newest version of Mac OS, that is version 10.8, also known as Mountain Lion. It just came out today, July 25th, uh, but you probably won't get this video until the 26th. Uh, so I've got two tracks here, and the first thing I'm going to do is check my audio preferences, make sure all my normal audio devices are working. There they are. And our buffer size is fine, so let's uh, close this window out. Let's check our settings under audio to make sure all of our normal sampling rates are there, all the sample rates are there. And on our uh, software instrument, I'm gonna choose a uh, one of the Logic's built-in drum kits just to accompany myself. We're gonna test out Logic's MIDI functionality here, and uh, I'm gonna use the uh, the uh, typing keyboard as a MIDI controller, so I'm just going to hit caps lock after I hit record and uh, play in the notes. I apologize how terribly out of time that was. I, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard and there seems to be a little bit more lag there. Uh, so let's quantize all of these notes to an eighth note and they should play back perfectly in time. Yeah, that was a lot better <laughs> after I quantized it to the eighth note. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's click on our audio track, and uh, I'm going to choose one of Logic's built-in uh, guitar amps here. I have my uh, guitar plugged in DI into uh, input 2, and uh, I'm just going to arm this and hit record, and I'm going to just play in a little guitar idea to match my uh, drum uh, pattern that I played in before. All right, yeah, that worked out fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is that was a little loud, so I'm going to use automation to uh, adjust the volume. Let's test that out. So you can click the automation tab up here, or you can just hit A to bring up automation view. And uh, we're going to draw in some offline automation. Let's uh, add a uh, add some volume at measure two to measure four here, and then we'll pull the volume back down from measure eight to measure nine. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, I'm going to stop that early. It's pretty easy to tell that the uh, volume is working, the volume automation is working from measure two to four. So let's undo those automation notes and let's try out some live automation. So let's choose one of our live automation modes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my volume fader up or down rather uh, while this is playing. All right, the live automation seems to work fine. You can hear it go down and then come back up. And overall, all the basic functions of Logic 9 seem to work fine with Mountain Lion. And that's no coincidence because, well, Apple developed Logic and it's an Apple application. So I'm sure they thought of all this in advance. I can't speak for the Pro Tools world because I haven't downloaded Mountain Lion on my Pro Tools rig yet. And frankly, I don't want to. Uh, but this weekend, if I find any other issues, any glitches in Logic and Mountain Lion, uh, YouTube, you guys will be the first ones to know. So thanks for watching. Please visit my sponsors. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below.